welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, Word, Thought and Prayer uh, with me, Reverend Francis. Hope you are well. And today I have a special message for my family, for my friends and for all those in my sphere of influence. And I want to share about life change. Life change. Life. <laughs> what an interesting word. A word that means so many things to so many people. We either love it or we hate it. We either abuse it or we embrace it. But whatever the case, we can either enjoy life or we can resent it, depending on what is going on with us. Life is defined as to be, or to come forth, or to come into existence. It is the state or quality that distinguishes living beings from dead ones. Many things that happen uh, to us through our life's journey can make, break, or shape us. In fact, it could be said that how we live out our lives is determined by how we start out, or what influences us, or the kind of environment that we grow in, or what choices we make along the way. Now the deepest de desire in the spirit of humankind is to find a sense of purpose, significance and relevance. And this search for relevance in life is the ultimate pursuit of mankind. Whether conscious or unconscious, admitted or not, this deep internal passion is what motivates and drives every human being. It directs his or her decisions, it controls his or her behaviour, and further dictates his or her responses to their environment. In the times that we are now living in, many communities and nations and families have become out of touch with the values, the morals and the conviction that build strong, vibrant, healthy families, secure communities, healthy and prosperous societies. The words of King Solomon contain beautiful, rich principles that each of us should take heed to. Proverbs 29 and verse 18 from the King James Bible says, Where there is no vision, and I have in brackets revelation, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So emphasis is added by me. The New Living Version of the same scripture says, When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. But whoever obeys the law is joyful. In essence, where there is no purpose, no divine guidance, no prophetic revelation, then there is no self-control. There's no more conviction or no ethical boundaries. Jesus tells us in John 10 and verse 10 from the Amplified Bible, the thief comes only in order to steal and to kill and to destroy. I came, Jesus said, that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance, to the full, till it overflows. So Jesus is teaching us that we can make our lives count by living God's way. Our choices could be the difference between heaven and hell. I want to say that again. Our choices could be the difference between heaven and hell. One day, when I felt that my life was going nowhere, I cried out uncontrollably. I remember it like it was yesterday. So I cried out, I was saying, why, 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 why am I struggling so much? Why does my life feel so painful? What's the point of living? And it was at that point that I sensed a presence in the room. A powerful sense of peace came over me 
my inside was dancing with joy. And that night, I met Jesus Christ and I accepted him as my Lord and Saviour. It was then that my life was redirected. I repented of all my sins. I was forgiven and my life was transformed. I am so glad that according to John 3.16, God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave up his only begotten unique son so that whoever believes in, trusts in, clings to and relies on him shall not perish or come to destruction or be lost but have everlasting life. And emphasis is added by me. My life has completely changed and I look forward to eternity as I continue to do God's will while I am here on earth. I am blessed with a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter who are truly a blessing to me. I have travelled on the mission field, helping to transform lives. I have truly found a sense of purpose, significance and relevance. My beloved family, my friends, my neighbours and all those in my sphere of influence. God's desire is to see that all of you know life as he intended. He desires you to know life so strongly that he is calling you right now to redirect your life to the path that he has chosen for you. The Lord does not delay and is not tardy or slow about what he promises, according to some people's conception of slowness. But he is long-suffering, he is extraordinarily patient toward you, not desiring that any should perish, but that all should turn to repentance. By accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Saviour, and believing in him, you can discover your God-given purpose and find a sense of purpose, significance and relevance. And I want to tell you today it was the best decision I ever made. And that is why I'm sharing this with you today, my family, my friends, those in my sphere of influence, my neighbours, so that you too can experience the joy and the peace and the freedom, forgiveness and life change that comes by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour and repenting of your sins. If you are listening today and you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Saviour, then I want you to repeat the prayers that I'm going to pray right now. And I want to say to you, it will be the greatest decision that you will make. Accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour, Jesus tells us in John 15 and verse 6 from the Amplified Bible, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by and through me. And so today I want you to trust the Lord Jesus Christ to take you to the Father. And all the benefits of being a child of God will be truly yours. Jesus is very specific when he says he is the only way to God the Father. Some may argue that this is not sufficient. But the natural understanding, I want to remind you, limits everything. But Jesus says in simple terms, I am the way, the truth and the life. And in reality, this message is very clear to the whole world. So instead of worrying about how limited it sounds to have only one way, we should be saying, thank you, God, for providing a sure way to get to you. As the way, he is the path to the Father. Therefore, you cannot be misled. As the truth, he is the reality of all of God's promises. And as the life, 
he joins his divine life to yours, both now and eternity. Amen. Would you like to receive Jesus into your life right now? And if the answer is yes, then you can just pray this prayer with me right now. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. I acknowledge my need of you and I repent of all my sins and ask for forgiveness. I accept you as my Lord, my Saviour, my Redeemer and my Deliverer. I invite you now to be Lord of my life. Fill my heart with your love, your joy, your peace. Lord Jesus, I now receive you into my heart. Thank you for taking me as I am. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if you said that prayer, I'm telling you that's the best decision that you have ever made. I'm telling you that now. It will change your life. And if you have said this prayer, you are now a born again believer. And heaven is rejoicing over you right now. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Please do contact us to receive further information and guidance on the step that you have just taken. You can go to our website, btmlifelight.co.uk, or you can email us at btmlifelight at gmail.com. I so look forward to hearing from you. And I pray that when you, as you've made the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Saviour, I'm saying to you today, it's going to change your life. God bless you, and God keep you, and God cause his face to shine upon you, and keep you in perfect peace. Stay blessed, stay focused, and stay safe. Bye for now, and God bless you all.